you're, this is a very, very cool place. I mean, I've lived in London quite a long time now, but I never knew this existed. It's got everything, even yeah. a cobbler, let yeah. alone a great coffee shop, everything else. Yeah, I mean, my trainer really knows London and knows where yeah, to yeah. set up the gym, so. But that's yeah. a bit of a sort of motor racing enclave, right? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, my trainer was an F1 before with, uh, with Ricciardo, but since he's stopped, he's now got like multiple drivers in, in Formula 2, WEC and even karting. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, a uh, lot of drivers that come in there and it's just like a nice vibe, you know, to Yeah, to and you and drive down it. from where, where do you live now? Well, I'm in Milton Keynes, but now I'm actually just staying at uh, Jay Henderuvula's house for uh -huh. like a week because he's literally like 10 minutes from here. But Milton Keynes, uh, if I'm there, I don't come here that often because it's about an hour drive. You look really comfortable at high tech now. And, yeah. And Baku, two wins in one weekend. What a thing. What yeah. a thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's been a great year. Um, for sure, we've lost a lot of points. We missed a lot of opportunities. But I mean, even after Bahrain, where we were, we had zero points. We were like last in the championship. I wasn't worried. Like I wasn't stressed at all because we knew the pace we had, and I just knew I had a great sort of engineering group and uh, and all the sort of tools to be there in the end, by, in the end of the championship. But I definitely. <laughs> Didn't expect to be only 15 points off after after round three. Yeah, let's hear it for Gab Jones, ex ex long time ago with um, iSport. He's bringing a different sort of view, I would imagine, to the younger engineers and the way you run the car and the team. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's everywhere he's gone. He's sort of brought the team up, and they've been a front-running yeah. team. So, uh, yeah, I actually, um, I spoke to Christian Horner as well, but when he founded Arden, and uh, he was like. He told me that, well, when it was announced that I was going to high tech, he was told me like, ah, oh, yeah, I was really pushing to get Gavin really? when, I, when he was only really? Arden. So, uh, yeah. yeah, he's been around, but he really knows what he's yeah. doing. You're out here also, you're quite good at numbers. Okay, so I'm going to make sure Yuri can't see any of this. I'm just going to pick two six digit numbers out of the sky and get him to add them together. Tell me when you're ready. Yep, I will, I will. Okay, I'll tear this off so you can then write your addition right. below those oh, yeah? two. There you go. Okay. So, one, one, five, one, eight, 25. That should be it. Right, he's got 1,151. Absolutely perfect. I mean, that is seriously quick. Where did that come from? How did, how long, how did you discover you had that talent? Uh, I don't know, like, it's ever since, even like before I went to school actually, because we go to school at like seven and maths, um, and start maths like immediately in Estonia. And I don't know, even before that, like, I just never, we sort of like prepared myself a little bit for school. And I never had like any issues, like just adding small numbers together like they did in first grade. And a lot of the people struggled with it. Like I was I probably, Four or something five, I was already doing like yeah. in the thousands. You know, there's obviously something in your brain which just like, clicks on that yeah. specific thing. Yeah. And do you find that has any application in racing in terms of any moments when you're analysing data or maybe you're counting yeah. down the lights at the start or something? I don't know. Uh, I don't think like it's so much in the driving, but yeah, it could be yeah some things to do with data. I've never had like any issue even in karting when I was like 14. We, we already started to work with a bit of data. I never had like any problem understanding any of the lines and stuff. I don't think at this like Formula 2 level it helps that much because I think everyone, all the top drivers, they understand, understand everything. Mm. Um, and it's a very sort of important part of racing now. Um, but yeah, I think definitely in, in Formula 4 and in, in, in my earlier years, it, it could have given me a bit of an advantage maybe. And we got Silverstone coming up now and you've got a really good record at Silverstone too. Obviously yeah. another circuit you love. Yeah, I mean, both times I've, I've gone there, I've been pole and one, so. Um, yeah, hoping to keep that up, but uh, yeah, let's see. I can never, you can never underestimate the, the level of the F2 Championship, and for sure we've been fast, but we need to, we really need to keep working like we have uh, in order to keep our form and uh, yeah, just avoid the, the mistakes that we did in the first couple of rounds and uh, do the more of same as uh, as we did in Baku. But the F2 car through Beckett's is going to be impressive. Bit of crosswind in there as well. Yeah, uh, I think it's going to be quite hard. I mean. I think most of the grid knows much better because they had two race weekends uh, last year there. So I think they'll have actually quite an advantage with this. 
knowing with uh, with 18 inch wheels of like how the tires are going to go away in the race and how's it going to be feel and quality but i'm sure we can up be be up there in the dry in a well-balanced car what is the feeling you most want from a car when you're going into say a third gear right hander is it is it feeling the rear is it feeling the front what is the moment that I like, you want to create? I always liked a lot of entry rotation, so I don't mind having, a, having the rear loose on the entry. And uh, yeah, I've always had, I don't like when it's snappy on mid, mid to exit, but decent amount of front end as well. But the most important thing for me is rotation. And yeah. top speed. Yeah, yeah, also. No, but I've never had really problems with top speed. It was just this regional that was a bit weird. You never had problems because you always work on making sure you have good top speed in terms of downforce. Is that one of your uh, things? Not good top speed, but just uh, in a relatively decent window compared to the rest of the rest of the grid. And apart from all the coolness here, Yuri, you have a cool manager as well, Marco Asma, who's yeah. the sort of Formula One megastar that never was. Tested yeah. the Williams at one point. Yeah. How did you meet Marco, and how's that relationship work? So actually, after my karting career, I didn't know what to do. Like, we we're just me and my dad were like sort of doing karting and got somehow lucky and got into teams by some mechanics recommended me and stuff so I didn't do anything properly before and then Marco sort of like contacted us that oh yeah I have like I know some people from Prema so I could get you like a test and uh, we went to a test together I was really good actually on my it was my second ever day and we were at Adria and uh, it was like two days after the race weekend and by the end of the first day I would have qualified I think third or fourth and which is not so bad and uh, so yeah then I got my Prema seat and went on with Marco and then here we are <laughs> in F2. So, he was yeah. quite quick in these days. Yeah that's what people keep telling me but <laughs> yeah he keeps telling me that I'm faster than him so I hope that's right. <laughs>